Kwon Yeol was a Korean Army general and the commander-in-chief of Korea, who successfully led the Korean forces against Japan during the Japanese invasions of Korea. He is best known for the Battle of Harainju where he defeated a force of about 30,000 Japanese with 2,800 troops. Early life Kwon Yeol hailed from the prestigious Andong Kwon clan. His father, Kwon Chiol, was the young Gui Zheng the equivalent of Prime Minister of the Korean court. However, Kwon did not begin his political or military career until he was 46, during Japanese invasions of Korea. When the Japanese forces invaded Korea in 1592, Kwon was appointed the mayor of Gwangju, Jiola province and given the military command of the region. Kwon and his troops followed his commander Yi Gwang and headed towards Seoul to join the main force. However, Yi was eventually defeated by Japanese at Yongin. Kwon managed to retreat back to Guangzhou and gathered around 1,000 militia. Battle of Ichi when Japanese troops at Jiamzan, Jiola province began to move to Junge. Kwon moved his army to Ichi, a gateway to Junge. 10,000 Japanese troops under Kobayakawa Takakage attacked Ichi. About 1,000 of Kwon's men fought and won the battle. Kwon supervised his unit by executing deserters personally, and his vanguard commander He Wang Jin kept fighting despite a gunshot injury. The battle resulted in the recapture of the Jiola province. Siege of Docks and the Joseon government recognized Kwon's heroics, and named him the new governor of the Jiola province in the following year. Kwon then led an army of 10,000 to Jiongji to recapture Seoul once more, where he was joined by local militia and monks, which enabled Kwon to gather up to 20,000 men. Kwon's troops were stationed in the fortress Doksung near Suwon. Japanese forces led by Yuki to Haidir laid siege to the fort for one month, and Kwon's army was running out of water supplies. One day, Kwon ordered several war horses to be brought on the fort wall and washed with grains of rice. From a distance, it looked like the horses were bathed with plenty of water. The Japanese, who were waiting for the fort's water supply to run out, lost their spirits and retreated to Seoul. Kwon chased the retreating Japanese, inflicting casualties of over 3,000 men. After the war, the King Seonjo built a monument on the top of Dok Sung named Semide, the place where horses were washed, as a tribute to Kwon. After the battle, the Joseon government ordered Kwon to march northward and combat the Japanese in Seoul. Battle of Harainju Kwon and his men set up camp in the run-down fortress of Harainju near Seoul. Although his forces were joined by local militias led by Kim Chan Il and monk soldiers led by Sheo Yung, his entire unit in Harainju was no more than 2,800 men. Threatened by this action, Japanese commanders Kato Kiyomasa and Yukita attacked Harainju Fortress with 30,000 men trying to finish off Kwon's troops once and for all. Ukita, who never led the attack in the front line directly, led the Japanese toward the fortress. The Battle of Haranja commenced early in the morning of 12 February 1593. Japanese troops under Kato and Yukita, armed with muskets, surrounded the fortress and launched several massive attacks. However, Kwon's forces and the civilians at the fortress resisted heavily, throwing rocks, arrows, iron pellets, burning oil and molten iron at the Japanese. Korean anti-personnel gunpowder weapons called her watches and explosive cannon shells called Bigyoki and Terloi were also utilized in this battle. The Japanese, with over 10,000 casualties and top generals Yukita, Ashida Mitsuneri, and Kikawa Hiroi wounded, were compelled to retreat and fled the region. It was one of the three greatest Korean military victories during the Seven Year War along with the Battle of Hanzan Island and the Siege of Jinju. After the Battle of Harainju after the battle, he kept his position until the peace talks between Ming Dynasty and Toyotomi Hideyoshi began. Then he moved to Jiola province, and from then on, Kwon Yeol became the Daoansu, the commander-in-chief of Korean forces. 
He was briefly removed from office due to his harsh treatment of deserters, but was restored back again in the following year. He ordered the Admiral of the Navy, Wan Qian, to battle the Japanese in the Battle of Chilchen Riang, which was won by Japanese. However Admiral Yi Sun Sin was able to defeat the Japanese Navy under Todo Takatora in the Battle of Myong Yang. In 1597, Quan and the Chinese commander Ma Ji Yui planned to combat the Japanese in Ilsen, but the Chinese commander-in-chief ordered Quan to withdraw. Then Quan tried to attack the Japanese in Sunshan, but the idea was again rejected by Chinese. After the war, after the war, Quan retired from all of his posts. He died in July 1599. After his death, he was given the posthumous title of Yongui Zheng and awarded the title of the Ilding Si on Mugong Xin along with Yi Sun Sin and Wan Qian the most prestigious award for the generals who fought during Japanese invasions of Korea. Kwan is remembered in Korean history as one of Korea's most successful and patriotic military commanders.